going to edit it's this and stuff. So we're I'm going to edit it. it and it's not going to come out bad or anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, my name is Lady Leanna. Leanna Treese by, by birth. Uh, what is your full name? Uh, Michael Hart. Uh, Michael Hart? Mm -hmm. but I, go, I go by well. Dancing Rabbit. Dancing Rabbit, that's what I heard as far as your name goes. What path do you actually practice on within paganism? I guess I would describe it as a sort of eclectic Wiccan based. Uh, I've never been um, initiated by anybody that was initiated by anybody. But, so just following your path? Yes, but most of the, I'm a, mostly a book learned pagan, so most of the early books I read were Wiccan based. Uh, and they're by your base. Sure, and that's so that's where I, I came into the whole pagan thing through. Uh, I've kind of drifted from that a little bit, added to from that a little bit. But I mean, if somebody asked me to lead a ritual, I would probably cast a circle, call of orders, and invoke two deities, which is is pretty wicked. Yeah. Right? And your path probably parallels mine really close because actually I'm very eclectic, but I have a Wicca witchcraft base, you know, pretty, pretty much like yourself. Um, I heard that you have a YouTube channel? I, I do, sort of, but it's kind of inactive. Uh, I've got the Dancing Rabbit YouTube channel that I haven't done anything with probably in four or five years. I used to be part of the Pagan Perspective. YouTube collective. It was like five to seven of us, and there would be a theme of the week, a question of the week, and we'd each give our answer. But uh, real life just got too busy, and I wasn't able to keep up the schedule, and I had to drop out. And how long ago was it? Uh, I don't know. Probably at least five years ago. I think the channel is still up, and I would imagine they have all the old videos archived somewhere. So you could probably go back and look at me when I, I still had it. Dancing Rabbit? Yeah, Dancing Rabbit. I'd like to look at that. And I've got a book. And you I've heard that you've written a book, right? Yes. Okay, tell me about that. Uh, the title is um, The Way of the Horned God, A Young Man's Guide to Modern Paganism. The, uh, the short story of how it got written, my wife and I were in a, a bookstore, we were looking at pagan books, and there was this whole shelf of women, spirituality, goddess and me books, and there was like two men's pagan sort of books, and one of them was written by a woman, and I thought, okay, you know, this is wrong. So Where is religion for men? Well, yeah, um, you know, I can read a book written by a woman, and I can get a lot out of it. But but uh, I think there are some gender specific things that uh, you have to be or have been to, to really, really get deep down. And there wasn't much for children. There was like Starhawks, not Star, uh, Silver Raven Wolf's book out. And it was the only book for kids. And I thought, well, okay, this is a start. But, and so my wife said, we can do better. So the way of the horn god, I think it's still available on YouTube, on YouTube, on the Amazon. And uh, if anybody really wanted, I'll look it for that and I'll post it. But it kind of it went through one printing and didn't go over very well. It's a real small niche market, pagan teenage boys. Uh, I mean, an older pagan woman could read it and get stuff out of it. Absolutely. But uh, there's a couple of chapters that are pretty male specific. But it's a small oh, niche market, I mean, she, she, and uh, yes. I think I probably didn't market it real well. Yeah, it was a first book, so it. You feel that you could have put more into getting it out there? Yeah, if I'd known what I know now or what I should have known. It's not yeah. too late. I mean, yeah. So it's probably out of print, but you can probably still get used copies on Amazon. Right. But you're absolutely right. There's not a lot out there for men. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of Diana Covens that don't lend enough homage to the male perspective to God, for Nunes or or Osiris, whoever they want to call to, which is very important. I mean, you can't have a baby without men. Well, you somewhere know. in the picture. <laughs> it's got to be there, and, I mean, at least. And I don't think there's anything wrong with a Dianic, Dianic Coven. Uh, women need to have their own space, Something for themselves. at least some of the time, and I think men need to have a man cave or a man's camp out or something, at least every once in a while. But everybody needs to be acknowledged. Well, yeah, acknowledged, and I think most of the time, for most people, not everybody, there needs to be some kind of a mixture. 
you do come um, down. You know, but that's just me. So right. Just well, do you have any plans for writing another book in the future? I've had several plans, but I've continually gotten sidetracked. So another feeling. You know that, <laughs> and and having enough time to do anything. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about is a camping book. Oh, Megan camping book, and I think there are probably a few of them out there already. And I don't want to like. Really There's always room for, yeah. for more knowledge. That's what we're all about. Because Way of the Horn God had a lot of outdoorsy stuff. It was okay. We've got a lot of pagan books where you're like in your room at your altar, you know, mixing stuff up. This is go out in nature and hike and camp, live off the land, learn the stars, and and that sort of thing. Because that's what pagans did thousands of years ago. That's how they lived. Everyone lived. And we all forget we go stop. So a camping book. I've, I've thought on that. I got really interested in some of, in the Hispanic culture here in Houston, and uh, learned about the the uh, herberias or botanicas. And the first few times I went in there, it's like I landed on another planet. I don't know what anything is. I don't know how to ask for anything. It's a whole nother world. It is different. And so I was thinking of writing sort of an Anglo's guide to shopping in a botanical tell me, you can tell me about to explain, okay, this is what this stuff is, these are the names for it, this is what it's used for, this is how you go in and relate to these people so you don't offend them and they don't confuse you. I mean, for example, I was going into a botanica to get some iron filings, but I was going to use an emojo bag. And so I asked the lady for iron filing. She spoke really good English. And she knew what iron and we're driving She knew what filing meant. Like, like but iron was. filings, she didn't know it was what. like, I have no idea. So I poured some out in my hand and showed her. And, and she said, oh, comedia por iman, <laughs> magnet food. <laughs> right. Okay, now, if I'd gone in and said, I need a bag of magnet food, she would have known exactly. And I'm sitting like halfway But there back. are so many little things like that, that almost intricate just dialect of or, names. Yeah, the way things are called that I think would be useful for us Anglos to be able to go in and I just and I worked on it for a while and then got busy and maybe you ought to kick up that YouTube channel and that way you can talk about it in short and actually get it out there well you have a lot of great ideas can I plug my current venture and you can edit it out if you want to do what can I plug my current Venture. What do you mean no, by that? You. Well, I am the he publisher of Natural no, Awakenings was. Houston Magazine. Okay, talk to us about we that. We are our Houston's I, I Green Living I Health and Fitness Magazine. So if you're interested <laughs> in environmentalism, okay. uh, health, okay. fitness, especially alternative health, yes, we are the go-to place. We're the only place in town. Uh, we are yes, not a pagan magazine. But as far as I know, we're the only pagan-owned magazine in Texas. So there's that. That's pretty cool. And I'm glad to and hear And we're about free. That. We're free. Go to our website. You can't beat that. We're paper, but go to our website and you can subscribe to the digital and our email a digital copy. No trees killed, just electrons and who cares about electrons? Isn't no this man down to earth? I mean, literally. But that's really cool, and it's good talking to you. Yes, that's right. Uh, we're Witchcraft Wicca. That's the name of the YouTube channel. You can I'll have to go and subscribe. Find some uh, keywords such as Lady Leanna or Leanna Trees. I mean, but Witchcraft Wicca, you type it in and... You know, you'll find us, especially if you talk about Pagan Day, because I'm going to upload this. But uh, it was good talking to you. You seem like a really good gender guy. Thank you. But take care of yourself, and maybe we'll get a chance to talk here again in a little while. Okay, thanks. Take care of yourself. I'm Rocky. Rocky. I've been Rocky. I'm Rocky. I don't know. I've been Rocky since 1959. Since 19. I was a toddler. That's a long time. Yeah, I, I was so, named so that you before you I knew anybody. I've been partners for a while. <laughs> before I, when I was just. So, uh, Can you tell us what some of your stones are and where you place them around the body? Well, this, this is a true cut uh -huh. flame. It's terminated quartz. It draws, you can draw through this and it draws clean, neutral energy. It draws, it's, it's just sticking your finger in a light socket and it feels good. <laughs> it's, it's just pure energy of no, of, of no color, uh, but right, right down the middle, just to be used. To, to be used. This would be like a, uh, a solar plexus, a hard stone, as the, as the first stone laid on the torso. 
to uh, to 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 uh, build a to, to, to build. Mm -hmm. See, right now, and then it gets she's uh, it then moves down to to uh, to ground the base, right? To the center area, sexual sexuality. Well, no, to the uh, to, 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 the, to the very base, the seventh chakra, oh, okay. the foundation, and and this, which is she's well wearing on her crown. Oh, uh, helps you know, <laughs> take you to uh, you, from this energy. You take it with this, and you open yourself up. And, uh, and from at that, at that at that point, I have to be extremely ethical because people just you know it's uh, it's my job to treat you good, nice when you've completely dropped all your shields and completely opened up. And I have to not you know I'm just not look where I don't supposed to. Right. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. This is a lithium. Okay. Very, very nice male female uh, bi bidirectional okay. stone. Mm -hmm. And you put that where? All right. Every Sunday we meet up at 10:30. Depends. When I when I start this, there were a few stones that I used to begin with. Uh -huh. so a few variations of the yeah. frame you. the grid. Thank you. Yeah. And from there, I'm picking up and I'm picking up things as as, as instincts to dictates. To see it can get very complex. Oh yeah, a lot and of stones there. A lot of stones, and, and as you see up and down the ledge, you have at yeah, least all, and all and all around complete haloing of the crown. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, bowls, both bowls of stones that I'll pick one or the other according to what what's called. I don't think about any of this ahead. What do you feel at the yeah, time? Yeah, you know, when it when I when I get important. when I get something on the feet. The, the the foundation on the legs, then I do then I'll do the crown and then and then and then fill and then in then to, then like that, and then things get uh, continuous. Mm -hmm. I, uh, like this is a this is a stone that it's, it's this uh, ametrine heart, solar plexus, uh, pelvic girdle, the bull the navel, depending you know, depending on and sometimes all sometimes all three places, or I could use it as a pointer, draw it from the head. Feels very strong. <laughs> it's, it's a very, it's a very it's, it's relaxing. A, it's, yeah, it's a very safe mineral to do that with. I'm Lady Leanna with the channel Witchcraft Wicca, and I, I caught the tail end of your song here, and it sounded beautiful. I know it was your own music, right? It sounded really beautiful, and I wanted to let everybody else know that it's out there, so I wanted to get a talk with you. What is your professional name altogether? Ginger Dogs. Ginger Dogs? And how long have you been doing that? Oh, a long time. I like the Long time. Like <laughs> yeah, they're eye catching, for sure. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I've been. Uh, I started out in a band called Velvet Hammer. I heard of that. One. Yeah, in the late '90s, and um, we toured a lot of uh, pagan festivals and, and the pagan circuit back then. And then uh, it turned into Dream Tribe uh, with kind of new members. Linda and I were always like the the uh, core. And then um, that was in the early 2000s. And then. Uh, then I've been in different things. I've been in a project with Becca Kelso called um, GB Mojo, and then we toured for about three years together. And then we also did a project, Becca Kelso and I, with Chris J. Tucker called Traveling Fates. And we toured. Busy. Yeah. Busy. And then now I've been solo for the past um, five years, just touring around, and Linda still plays with me. And I still do GB Mojo and, and Traveling Fates, and I play with lots of different musicians to come play with me and, and tour with me. More you get hurt, the better you are, right? Yeah, it's been great. It's been I caught the tail end of one song. What is the name of that song? Which one? Uh, the very last, the last one, one that you come did. Come down. Come down. Come down. Yes. Uh, about how long ago did you write that? I wrote that in the early 2000s. So it's early been around. I wrote it when I was in Dream Tribe. Would I be able to find that online yes, somewhere? Absolutely. Because absolutely. because I would like to be able to play it actually on this video somewhere. Yeah, well, there's tons of videos out there, but <clears throat> I, I always try to send people to my website, gingerdoss.com.
Remember and, that. Um, yes, you can uh, go to my video page, um, and there are video. There's a video of come down uh, that I played. It was a, a recording of a performance at Serious Rising at the New York State, which is an awesome festival up there. Lots of drummers on stage. It was an amazing night. Um, there's that video, and there's others. You can also download the song on my web, on my uh, website. Do you mind if I tag that into the video? The, Not the at full all. song at the end. So Not that at all. You can hear it. About how many songs would you say you've got that you put out there that people have heard? Well, I I just did my um, fourth album, my fourth solo release. So um, you know, I've got a lot of songs. I couldn't. I have never actually counted. Um, not all of them are, of course, on the four CDs that I've got. But I've got also um, a new, another new CD that I'm going to start working on uh, that I hope to have ready in 2017. Uh, which means I'll be working on it over the winter. That's my time to kind of get down and, and work on. What would you say? your favorite song or funnest song that you actually did? That's a tough, that's a really tough one. I mean, I've been a songwriter. We've had a lot of time, right? Yes. Um, there's songs that have are fun for different reasons, and that's the thing. It's like, it expresses all have different a aspects, tag. different moods. Uh, sometimes I'm in a really super playful, funny mood. I love um, Hippie Pocket. is a fun one that, for that. That's the title track of my most current I'm going to have to look for that one. Yes. It's also number one on the cauldron.net. Oh, yeah? um, or it was in the top five. It's been in the top five for the past few weeks uh, as the uh, plays and listens. And um, uh, yeah, I, I'm very proud of that. And then uh, there's other songs that are, are so fun to do. Um, I've got one called uh, Charlotte Bojangle, which is a, a story of a spider that actually um, built a web on my car, between my car and my trailer. And, and you, um, and, you had and I would an drive 800 now. miles. She would disappear. The web would disappear, and then the web would reappear overnight. And she was there. So she got a song. You know, she was a <laughs> she spider something. that rode with me all the way down uh, from from Chicago down to Kansas City and, and beyond. And wow. so, yeah. that sounds amazing. I mean, when a, a natural entity attaches itself to you, are you well, you're naturally in paganism, right? Well, yes. Well, I consider myself a universal. A universal Unitarian? Uh, yeah, I can say, I'm a universal, it's a more eclectic. Of, it's a term that I've coined for myself, um, but it's because, you know, the pagan community is near and dear to my heart. I've been a part of it for a very long time. But I also turn to many different spiritual paths. Um, I'm a Unity Church member. I also um, uh, Buddhism at the moment is a good uh, practice of mine. So it's all, these, these paths are languages that we used to speak to the divine, and one of the things I love about the pagan community. You like to stay busy in every sense of the word, don't you? But that's good. It keeps life going and, and memorable and happy. I'm getting the signal that we I need to go uh, because I'm supposed hey, to be back. It was back good talking to you. Can I get it's out? really good to talk to you too. Bye. And I'm gonna have to look for your music because. Uh, and what was the name of, of your last album? Uh, Hippie Pocket. Hippie Pocket. I'm gonna have to really look for that. And it's on Amazon? Or? It is. It's on Amazon. It's cool. on my website, too. Uh, so, you know, feel free to go there cool. as well. You take care of yourself and look for some witchcraft wicca. I Say will. hi to me, if you will. Connect with me, please, so I can I can find you. Are you on YouTube? Yes. Yes, yes I'm on Witchcraft wicca or Leanna okay. Trees, Lady okay. Leanna, those are all keywords. Okay. Awesome. All right. And it's good talking to you. Good Thanks talking. so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Can you? 